When I first saw his blood tests, I thought he's gonna have a heart attack. In the last 10 years, I've never seen anyone with a blood result worse than that of Kyle's. I had several stents in my heart. His blockages were so bad, he'd already had a stent within a stent and they were starting to block. We've reached the limit of our medical technology. Basically six months to live. I was supposed to be dead over six years ago. He told me about a radical plan to infuse himself with these cyclodextrin products. Luke was obviously against my proposal at first. He kind of freaked out. Kyle wanted to infuse it on himself and he believed that they were going to take the plaque from his arteries and remove it. And I told him it's not being tested on any humans. This could be seriously dangerous. As long as you use the right cyclodextrin, use the wrong cyclodextrin, then you'll have kidney failure within weeks. I did some research into cyclodextrins and I realised that actually they're being used quite frequently already in medicine, just not at the high doses that Kyle wanted to infuse himself with. It took Kyle, a person who doesn't work in medicine, a person who doesn't, you know, have a, a, an understanding. I don't think he even knew what atherosclerosis was before he came to see me. Suddenly he'd been doing this research into this product and, you know, it could potentially work. It was at this point that I realised that this medication had massive game changer in the treatment of heart disease. My name is Dr. James Roberts. With Cavidex, we're not blocking the generation cholesterol in the liver. We're pulling cholesterol out of the artery wall. We're directly reversing the arterial disease. No matter what the cause of your arterial disease, be it high blood pressure, high cholesterol, homocysteine, high sugar, Cavidex is a universal antidote. After I did the trial, my cholesterol, my liver, everything went back to normal. I was certainly impressed by Kyle's results. When I looked at his blood tests, everything was improving. His cholesterol, his triglycerides, all of his blood markers were improving out of sight. His cholesterol went from 10, you know, down to six, and then eventually down to four. I was hoping that after the treatment, I could show my results to a medical company and say, here, look, I've got a treatment for heart disease. So I developed an enema version. I started manufacturing the enema tubes, giving it to people I knew, and then suddenly strangers were contacting me and I was supplying this product. I had no avenue to get this product into the pharmaceutical industry. No one was interested in it, and yet I could see that it was going to save lives. We've been selling this product worldwide for four years. People are going off their statins, people are going off their blood pressure medication. Our patients get better in two weeks with Cavidex, instantly lowering inflammation, lowering oxidative stress, generating nitric oxide, and improving blood flow. So there's a rapid onset of biochemical benefit and a slow but steady reduction in plaque volume. So doctors won't touch it unless it's proven through the TGA. Professor Howes is the head of cardiac research the Gold Coast Hospital is called the TGA and he explained how our product worked. Hi, I'm Laurie Howes. I've been a professor of medicine for over 40 years now. Cyclodextrin in the form of Cavidex at this stage has more safety data and more knowledge about the pharmacology than what we knew about the statins when they were first introduced. Subsequently, I've treated up to 150 of my patients with Cavidex. Cavidex is now the most important anti atherosclerotic therapy in my armamentarium. Greatest advance that we've had in cardiovascular pharmacology for the treatment of atheromatous plaques since the statins came on the scene. In a few years, I think we'll all be sipping champagne in Stockholm when Kyle gets the Nobel Prize, because think of all the people that he's going to help. So for four years, the TGA totally left me alone. I manufacture in Australia, I export all around the world. Approximately six months ago, the FDA started destroying our product as it was shipping into the US for four years. Cavidex is the trade name for cyclodextrin. Cyclodextrin is FDA approved. Cavidex is incredibly safe. You can't hurt anybody with Cavidex. Why is the FDA after four years suddenly destroying our product at the border? Every week in the USA, tens of thousands of kilos of cyclodextrin, the exact same molecule that I use in this treatment, crosses the border into the USA. Now, out of all that cyclodextrin, every week that goes into the USA, this much goes to the food industry. This much goes to the cosmetic industry. This much goes into the medical industry. 20 FDA approved drugs use this cyclodextrin in their drugs. This much goes to Johnson & Johnson's COVID vaccine. The exact same molecule 
where someone is bringing it in to save their own life from heart disease, it gets burnt in a furnace. They destroy it at the border. How does that make sense? Patients are terrified. They were having trouble, they're getting better, and now our government cuts them off and they're having pain again. They can't believe it. If it's this good, why is the government inhibiting us? I don't know what's going on. It is saving lives. We've got people with calcium scores going down. That's unheard of. It works. I can't believe that it took someone as eccentric as him, someone brazen as him, to infuse himself with a medication that no one knew much about. People are dying of heart disease. I'm sort of stuck on this crusade I didn't want to be in in the first place. This is too important to give up on, and I'm not going to give up on it.